I've used a lot of social media management tools in my 10 years of being a social media manager and business owner. And today I'm going to talk about one of my current favorites, Metricool. Metricool has been amazing when it comes to scheduling and reporting for our clients. I'm going to share my screen and talk through some of my favorite features uh, so that you can see if it's a tool that you want to use too. Cool? Cool. Before we get in, if you're new here, hi, hello. My name is Andrea Jones. I'm a mindful marketing strategist and I'm all about finding that happy place between productivity and hustle and living our lives, especially chasing after my two babies. And if that sounds good to you, go ahead and click that subscribe button and hang out with me for a little bit. We're talking about Metricool today. And one of the things that I loved about Metricool before I signed up or as I was thinking about signing up was the fact that they have good reporting. I cannot tell you how many times I look at social media scheduling tools and they don't have a good reporting component. This is a non-negotiable to me. Scheduling is easy. Like if scheduling were my only problem, um, fine, I can, I can figure that out. A lot of the apps also have internal schedulers, so it's not that big of a deal. The biggest thing for me is to have accurate reporting, not just collecting data, but helping me analyze it. And that's what I love about Metricool uh, for that reason. That's why I chose the app, but then I fell in love with it for their scheduling functionality and kind of how they have multiple brands and things like that. Before I get into this though, I do have to note that we have a whole digital brain system that we use for our clients in Airtable and we do all of our content planning inside of Airtable. So if you want those videos, I've got a video series all about Airtable. I'll link it below this video. Let's dive into Metropool. What I'll also say is I like their pricing. Um, I find that a lot of the um, ways that the app set up pricing is per account. And I find that I need a lot of brands in order for that to work. And it seems like it's usually capped at accounts and not brands. And so what I love about Metricool is they have it by brand and not by account. And if you're a social media manager or agency owner, that's key because sometimes one brand will have like four or five accounts. And so if you have three clients and they only allow 15 accounts, you're already capped, right? Whereas Metricool does it per Per brand. So depending on how many brands you have in your business, um, that can really streamline things for you. Now I am on the, I'm on the advanced plan, but I'm up to 50 brands, I think, um, because our bill is like a hundred dollars a month. So this, oh, that's the annual, right? So yeah, I think we're at like 25 brands maybe. Um, yeah. Okay, cool. Let's log in. All right, so right away you can see a brand here. And um, the what I like about the brands is you can easily see on the left-hand side what, what all is connected. You can start to see some of the uh, demographics and they start with the analytics. I love that that's the homepage because that's usually what I'm in here for. Um, so if I take a look at something like, let me actually look at Instagram because there's more things to track. So if I take a look at something like Instagram, I'm looking at you know a couple months of data. You can see the growth here. You can see that it's up very quickly number of posts, daily followers, followers per post, that sort of thing. Um, balance of followers doesn't matter too much to me, but if you might want to note this if you feel like you're losing a lot of followers. Uh, demographics are in here as well. Followers by country are in here as well. Um, looking at your profiles, they tell you impressions, average reach per day, profile views, website site clicks, my heart is singing at all of this data. They link to some of the posts underneath here as well. Um, they'll give you the organic summary. So engagement, interactions, reach per post, impressions, um, likes, comments, saves. Okay, saves, that's the one I always wanna see as well. Um, Likes per post, there we go, all organic. They have the posts themselves broken down here. They have hashtags, y'all. This one is huge. A lot of the hashtag analytics tools are really hard to track, and this one has the hashtags here. And what I love about it is you can see the impressions by the number of posts. So this one, even though it's only using three posts, got the most impressions. Whereas um, if I kind of toggle open to 25, I know we had one down here, seven posts, 100 impressions. So maybe we want to use um, this one more than that one. You know, it just gives you some of that data that we we crave. Um, it has Reels reporting as well, which for some reason, Instagram always keeps it separate, but there you go. It's in there, video 
views, engagements, interactions, that sort of thing, based on how many reels you post, list off the reels and what you saw there, the stories as well. And you can actually view the stories, which I find very helpful. So it'll tell you the stats that you need for your stories. Um, and then you can also list competitors down here and keep track of competitors, analyze their data as well. Especially if you have a client who is always like, oh, such and such person is posting this or that, you can kind of compare to whatever your competitors, your clients have. And then that way, um, the you can kind of keep track of like what what is their engagement actually like you know um and this is all based on public data but it's still very helpful for your clients if they can see you know if their follower growth is the same or similar or their engagement growth is declining that sort of thing i'm going to okay i'm going to toggle over to my account um, because i just have more things connected what i like as well about metricool is we do get TikTok data Okay, there's not a lot of places that have TikTok data specifically as well TikTok ads data. I'm not running ads right now, but you can see that. I also love that it has Facebook ads data as well. You can see how much I spent on ads, what those impressions were, what all of this was like right here in the handy dandy dashboard, um, which is very, very helpful. Um, you can let's see things like YouTube. Now I will say there is some downsides to this based on the parameters that the platform gives us. The downside. Um, LinkedIn. So LinkedIn, you only can connect a page and not a personal account. You see, I have my personal account connected. There's no analytics for personal accounts. And this is just based on LinkedIn. LinkedIn does not allow um, third party tools to collect data on their personal accounts. You can do a page, but not a personal account. Okay. Another cool thing about Metricool is you can connect your website. If you don't have something like Google Analytics in place, this can be very, very helpful. I will say I wish they had Google Analytics integrations. They do not, um, but you can connect to the website directly. Um, and that's what we did is just add a little bit of code to the website and you can get it in here and it's pretty much the same thing. So um, it'll give you enough information like where's your traffic coming from? and what pages they're visiting so that you can get some kind of like surface level information about the website as well. The part everyone loves, the content planning. This is what their content calendar looks like. You can do it in a calendar view. You can have lists as well. You can have auto lists. I'm not a fan of this because I don't want anything automatically posting without my know-how, but you can do all of this right within the app, which is just very, very helpful. Another thing about Metricool is they have the smart links option, which is basically like Linktree, but right within Metricool. We have not tested out this functionality because a lot of our clients build these uh, pages on websites. Um, however, if you want an alternative to Linktree, this is it. And if you want to build ad campaigns right within the Metricool dashboard, you can do this as well. For all of our clients, we use Meta directly, but this could be a helpful tool, especially if you have team members who are an integral part of creating campaigns. Now onto the things I wish Metricool had. One of the things that I really wish Metricool had was a content planning tool. So you can create posts and you can publish them, but they don't have the ability to save them and have kind of like a back and forth with your clients in the posts. What I do like though, is when you're going to create a post, you can add some notes to the post as well. The note can be helpful if you are collaborating on a post with a team member. Um, like I said, we use, um, we use Airtable for this in our agency, but if you don't have a third party like content planning tool, planning in Airtable is, or planning in Metricool is possible. An example would be if I have an Instagram reel using a sound, but I don't want it to automatically publish. I want to send it to the client with the caption and go, this is what we are going to post. Um, there's no way to do that currently in Metricool um, without some finagling. You can just save it as a draft, I guess, but um, then it doesn't have the ability to like have a little bit of a back and forth. It's a little bit clunky. I just wish there was a way to have posts that are scheduled right and maybe they're not pushed live but um you can schedule them as a draft i hope y'all understand what i'm saying i think social media managers will understand what i'm saying with this we don't want the post to go live but we want it to be in our calendar planned and we know when it's going out even though we're not pushing it through metricool 
I also think about this with things like, um, you know, polls, LinkedIn polls, Instagram stories with stickers, things like that, where I want to plan it. I want to have it in the content calendar. I want it to be approved, but we're posting this manually. It's not going through Metricool. So what do you think? Are you going to try out Metricool? If you do, I do have an affiliate link below this video. Check it out. Use our link. Let us know what you think of this amazing scheduling reporting tool. Uh, and if you want me to review more, let me know. Pop them down in the comments. I always love checking these out. That's all for today. I'll see you next video.